To be honest, he's got more latent ability than the rest of us. Who is Vegeta talking about here? He has to be talking about Broly, right? Let me stop. You guys already see the title and know who this video is about. Vegeta is talking about Gohan. But why would Vegeta say Gohan has more latent ability than himself and Goku? What makes Gohan special? And who has more latent ability, Gohan or Broly? I also think that it's super interesting that both Gohan and Broly have base forms, or at least forms with black hair, that are much stronger than the Super Saiyan form of Goku and Vegeta. <laughs> Guys, I have been wanting to do this video for so long, literally over six months. There is so much going on with Gohan's character. From the moment he was introduced in episode one of Dragon Ball Z, Gohan has been a source of mysterious power and untapped potential. In this video, we are going to take a look at some of that mystery surrounding Gohan's power. We are also going to take a look at some weird similarities between Gohan and Broly. You guys have waited long enough, so let's just jump right into it. One of the biggest mysteries of Dragon Ball Z was Gohan's hidden power. At the age of four, Gohan displayed one of the highest power levels recorded in the series up until that point at 1307. Yes, yes, I know that that's a laughable number now with the power levels of Dragon Ball Super, but to put this into context, at the time, adult Goku only had a power level of 416. After witnessing Gohan's power level through the scouter of his partner Raditz, Vegeta says that babies who are a mixture of human and Saiyans, otherwise known as hybrid Saiyans, are superior to pure-blooded Saiyans. In fact, here are Vegeta's exact words from that moment. But at that time, at that age, Gohan did not just impress Vegeta. He also fathered something that we've seen enough in the series to now call Saiyan Rage. Saiyan Rage isn't just a Saiyan becoming upset. It's when a Saiyan becomes so overwhelmingly angry that he begins to draw on this pool of seemingly infinite power. We saw examples of this from Vegeta and his My Boma scene. We also saw this from Future Trunks during the Goku Black Saga. But most recently, we've seen this from the newest, most powerful Saiyan in town. Broly. Now, I'm not talking about Broly's Akiri form. That is something different altogether, although it may be related. For right now, I am talking about Broly's ability to become more powerful the angrier he gets. Now, the Dragon Ball Super movie had moments to imply that the concept of Saiyan rage started with Broly and not Gohan, but those moments were only implied and not stated outright. More on Broly in a bit though, let's hop back over to Gohan because Saiyan rage wasn't the only thing that made his power unique. Gohan appeared to have had a hidden well of almost infinite key and power within himself. At the age of 10, Gohan became the strongest person on earth and the first Saiyan to surpass the Super Saiyan transformation. Again, rage was the vehicle that got Gohan to this new level of power that far exceeded even Goku and Vegeta at the time. But this time, even after the rage faded, Gohan was able to hang on to and use his power. This suggests to me that Gohan's power isn't the rage itself. His rage was only a conduit, allowing him access to a power that already existed within himself. I believe this idea is further reinforced when you take into consideration that by the end of Dragon Ball Z, Gohan was arguably the strongest character in the entire series. He achieved this level of power not by training like Goku and Vegeta, but by undergoing a process of awakening with the Supreme Kai, a process that never got completed by the way. The goal of this process was not to add to Gohan's overall power. It's not as if the Supreme Kai was giving Gohan extra power out of nowhere. All he was doing was allowing Gohan easier access to the power that already lies within him. So if Saiyan Rage is just a vehicle and not the source of the power for Gohan, is the same also true for Broly? Is the rage what makes Broly strong or is Broly already strong and his rage just serves as a means to allow him to more easily tap into his own power? If that's the case, can Broly's powers be awakened in the same way Gohan's powers were awakened. Can someone help Broly tap into his power without the need 
for rage personally i think this is a super interesting question is it possible that the reason why gohan's awakening was never fully completed was because wherever that process leads a saiyan having full control of all his power without the need of saiyan rage wherever that leads whether it's a new transformation or mastery of an old one was the completion and revelation of that process being saved for Broly. Now, before Gohan and Broly, it seems as if this idea of Saiyan rage did not exist within the Saiyan race. Or at least, if it did, it was extremely rare. I think this is proven by the scenes that I referenced earlier that implied that Saiyan rage may have started with Broly. In that scene, the doctors or scientists that were monitoring baby Broly were completely confused and had no means to explain the fluctuation in baby Broly's power level as he got upset in his incubator. It was the same thing with Raditz when he saw Gohan getting stronger as he got angrier as a four-year-old baby. Raditz was shocked. The concept seemed completely ridiculous to him. It's also likely why the Saiyans sent babies with low power levels away because they figured that there were no means other than training perhaps to allow a Saiyan to get stronger. My point is, Saiyan Rage wasn't a thing in the Saiyan culture. This leads me to believe that Saiyan Rage is something that Akira Toriyama is likely looking to tie into something he introduced to the series not too long ago, something that differentiates the modern day Saiyans from the old Saiyans, and that thing is S-Cells. Akira Toriyama said that Saiyans with righteous hearts have more S-Cells than the average Saiyan. This was likely the reason for the major change in Broly's backstory. At his core, Broly definitely has a righteous heart. We see this when he defends Chile on Frieza's ship. Goku also noticed this when he tried to immobilize him in the movie. It's also heavily reinforced in Broly's interaction with Goku at the very end of the movie. It'll make sense that Saiyan Rage is tied to S-Cells because after living on Earth and after working on his own righteous heart, Vegeta is now able to use Saiyan Rage a little bit himself. But does having the ability to use Saiyan Rage change the amount of key and power that it gives you access to? I think the answer to that is no. And that is because, again, I see Saiyan Rage as the vehicle. And the place where it takes you is your untapped potential. Now, with the mantle of being the first of a special breed of half Saiyans and half humans, Gohan has been the Saiyan with the most untapped potential in the series all the way through Dragon Ball Super. Has this been changed with the introduction of Broly? Why not Gohan? Certainly you realize your son has the most latent ability of all the fighters we know. Yeah, of course. But we need someone who can fight right now. And Gohan's way too rusty to help us. Anyway, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. There is obviously a lot going on now. Guys, I appreciate all your support so much. Hashtag Dooku. I'll be talking to you again real soon. Bye.